So sensitive. And then it's like hold, then you use two layers and put them over together so like the the, the sound is there. Point. Yeah. But I think I stretch too much already lah, so it's like Yeah, it's a bit loose already. Yeah, it's loose it's already. Not tight. Yeah, it's not tight, it's like I'm just like shit. What the hell? Read. I think it bit runs. I, 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 I believe I saw him heading to the woods with a little flashlight from his back. The music so loud I couldn't hear what I was saying. I mean, like seriously. Why didn't you stop him? This is none of my business. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was actually leaving the room. I mean that, that, that would be crazy. Wouldn't it? I, I, I don't know. Oh well, that's my brother. You don't seem concerned, Danny. Why is that? I went to hell, Colin. God damn it. When he comes out, I'm gonna bang Russell you so hard. Russell threw the backpack he'd been carrying down on the ground, <laughs> ripped open the zippers, and began pawing around for something. He slowed, then tore open another pocket, then and another. <sighs> what the hell? It's not here. <sighs> I know I packed that flashlight. Who took it? Screw it. I'm going after him. You guys stop walking up to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stop walking up after me, and I'll bring you back down so you meet me there. Keep each other in sight. Okay? Set. Okay. Okay, girlfriend, I trust you. <laughs> With that, Russell slung his backpack over his shoulder and shot up the hill in the direction Jay pointed out. Wow. Were, were we just supposed to run after him then? He does have privacy, they went on the bag. That was an awkward silence. Okay. <laughs> Oops, well, now what? <laughs> I don't know. I really need this. I really need this. Daniel brought out to my complete shock a flashlight from behind her back. Hey, so, what is that? She tapped it rhythmically with, with a clickety clack against her shoulder as she explained. If I'd known Coco was gonna flip the whole game just now, I wouldn't have taken this, but, uh. Danny, did you snatch that right out of Russell's backpack? Well, I thought we were heading into the group, but I wasn't going about to let him pass all the flashlight out to the boys. Well, that's, that's, mm, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. true. He totally would have. You <laughs> see, like, the thought they'd be like, oh my god, we guys are, we are in charge. Yes, they're gonna be there. You, you two guys are, we two guys are gonna stay behind. Yeah. Yeah, fuck them. Then you can, can, can totally kick him with her heels. Yeah, 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 his girlfriend is just being biased. The smile Danny flashed back at me looked unsure whether it should be proud or embarrassed. She's proud, alright. I'm confused. Well, why are you playing with Sadie Russell if you saw you carrying his back like that groom in the first place? Oh. Like you saw you dropping I guess I could tell him this out. Oh. God damn it, it's the exact excuse I will come up with. <laughs> yep. Look, the end result is what matters here. I want to be a Don and have our own flashlight. No more of this Russ Tarzan. Everybody else, Jay. He man nonsense. I know, he gave the. Oh. I agree, Danny, though. I'm sure he knows where he's going, light or no light. Crazy Jungle Dude practically has night vision. <laughs> Don't worry about Colin either. Just being a stubborn little asshole as usual. I think Russell is a shot and overprotective. Ah! He wants to bag him! <laughs> Why am I out of nowhere? It always has been. So we might as well stick to the plan, right? Okay. Right! Hmm. <laughs> it's your choice, because you're done, you know? <laughs> so what do you want to do? Ah, take supplies from the van. Be dumb to Russell. That's just dumb, Russell. Yeah, I'm He's just, just an asshole. He'll be fine. Yeah. Besides, they both say he'll be fine, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Before we head up after them, I think we should pack a few essentials like Danny suggested earlier. Yeah. Just clothes or toiletries or stuff like that, nothing serious, but you never know what might happen out there. Yeah, you can use toiletries to defeat Daniel theirs. nodded vigorously, eager to change the subject from her little dis misdemeanor. Bang an idea, but we should do it fast. Don and Jay, you guys grab what you need for yourselves. I'll pack a little back of Colin. Randy, you think you can just grab stuff for Russell? It's okay, he's good friends with him. I like how you do that. 
We all split up quickly to different doors of the vent, blowing through belongings and bags to find whatever we felt we needed most. <laughs> I was holding on to the bunny. I accidentally clicked again. So I was like, quick, finish it. I like, can let it go. Let it go. Let it go. It almost looked like we were robbing our own van. There's rustles of fur making us feel like we are. Hey, Don, you packed it? I just packed my pig. Yeah, I don't have much. I don't even remember what I have. Okay, then let's book it. If we take much longer, we might not be able to find the boys. But it's okay, they're tall enough, it's a Colin. I'm sorry, I just commenting over there. Hang on, hang on, I'm still looking for some stuff. Shut up, Freddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, hurry up! We gotta roll before it gets dark or we'll be in deep shit! Oh my god, finally! What have you been waiting for? Another minute passed with Randy's head buried in his suitcase. Randy, what the fuck are you even looking for? Ah, uh, my poor stash. <laughs> my stuff! Oh, that's what he said. Yeah, I heard you, but what stuff could you possibly have buried that far down in your pile of underwear? Well, what do you think? <laughs> Just stop! Stop! Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> He's definitely hiding por his porn stash under his pile of underwear. So is this a joke I'm not getting or it's okay Don, you can just read me in this. Randy thing. looked up from his bag and sighed. I packed some while it was supposed to be a surprise. Oh my god, please tell me he's not booze. <sighs> he pinched his thumb and pointed finger together and tapped them to his lips, then blushed and rolled his eyes. Kush, but do bench my stuff. Wow! Okay, we're going on ahead. You two just run and catch up. Aston? Yeah, make sure Randy doesn't start burning through whatever he finds in there as soon as he finds it. Huh. Now, now, don't judge. Shit's dank. I was gonna let you guys try some tonight. Offer still stands. Uh, it's booze. It's not booze. It's not? It's not. Um. I still don't understand. Why would Randy start burning his stuff? Is it drugs? Yeah, it's drugs. No, I think it's like weed. Uh, okay. Come on, girlfriend. Let's find thing one and thing two before they get too far ahead of us. And with that, we finally left the road and entered a dark, muggy, and endless forest. Oh, that is like so encouraging for our next journey. Look, more trees. Kenny was in such a hurry to get up the hill. She, just, my, she had grabbed my stuff along with her own and was trying to hold the flashlight up with both bags weighing down her shoulders. It's 4 p.m. and Chibi turned on her flashlight. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to fit the, the, the situation. <laughs> okay, okay, that's you, whatever you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, sorry, I just kind of pissed off at that burnout for eating so much of our time. Uh, I mean, we said essentials. Essentials, you big dumb Westoid. Oh, so <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. Um, just like Russell and your brother, right? Danny slipped my bag off her shoulder and shook her head. He's he gonna die. He did. When we find my brother, I vote we take turns beating the puss out of the little noid. Oh. <laughs> Danny, no! Aw, Danny, please. No? You don't want to? I already have a piece of a mind. Well. Anyway. Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> he looks so sick. He said, hee ha, hee ha. That's a plan. I overheard enough of that at the van to know it was serious. I'm sure he was being a total dickweed. No, I wouldn't say that. We were just... I figured it out, you know, that mysterious nightmare hit earlier. Pretty dramatic way, of get... way to get out of talking about it, Don. Mm. Mm. My best friend, don't believe me. Yeah. Who else can I tell? Now? If Kaka was a pig and I knew, I deserve to know about it. It's partially my job to make sure he doesn't grow up into a ginormous tool. I mean, at least tell me what happened, please? They're gonna think it's really stupid, but okay. I told Danny the whole story, right down to that embarrassing bet. Jesus, Donna, it's legit heinous. Why the hell will you take that bet? Oh, I'm gonna have an entire cow in his wormy little ass when we find him! Oh, that's gonna be so painful. Uh, please don't, I can handle it. I'm a man. 
Yeah, man. I can handle it. Please don't, I can handle it. I'm the one who started fighting with him in the first place and it's my fault for agreeing to the bed. Hmm. Plus, if he thinks I decided to flake out by telling you, he's just going to be even more annoying about it. Hmm. I guess. Okay, I'll trust you to show up, the little jerk. I mean, it's just a schoolyard bed thing. It's not a fucking blood pack. Blood pack? Ah. Oh my god, you bimbo. Yeah. I heard Kaka <laughs> uses that word while playing one of his computer games. I kid you not. Probably while imagining himself as a wizard. Bark me out the door. Ugh. That pack story you had to do is wizard. It's more like witchcraft. But. He's a boy. I. Wait, is that boy or B O Y or whatever? I bet the little ski is Jess and wants to pressure you into doing something gross if you lose. I wonder how he's calling. Wait, when you lose? My brother's wicked smart. He's probably rigging the game. Uh. I don't. That shrimpy bitch came out of the womb rubbing his little shore. <laughs> you imagine that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just rubbing his baby hands like <laughs> I love him to pieces, but I can't say I trust him. Well, yeah, but you don't trust anybody. I said Don. Right. That's not true. My trust is just expensive. Premium price. So, like the price of a flashlight? The flashlight, flashlight is back you on. Say. <laughs> the flashlight is back on. Hey, now. <laughs> Are you so you can go snog in the corner? Yeah. yeah. I don't like myself. We've been hiking for a bit now and there's still no sign of him. You can just go with Gabe. Just wanna Gabe. snog him under the tree. Mm. Do you think we're going the wrong way? It can be. I'm oh, sorry. No, this should be right. Coco said it was straight up and straight east. Straight up and straight east. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, god damn it. Nothing we can just keep trucking right on. How the hell do I need to be this? Okay. So, about Russell. Huh? How is that? Uh, also for one. I don't know how to explain that. Same as always, he's nice and dead. Really I, I don't know. I just kind of feel responsible since I set you guys up, but he's kind of an asshole, Danny. What do you really think of the guy? I can tell he likes you. I mean, he mad likes you. It's floaty little hearts in his eyes, kind of shit. Oh. But I can't tell with you. I don't know if you're really into that. Titus Dale type, or if he's making you happy at all. Well, if I had to guess, it doesn't seem like he's doing it for you. You've been mondo awkward around him all day. Oh, eh, it's just bugging me. You don't have to say. I guess. No, I don't like him. Do you like him? Oh no, this I, is treasure. I, I've already stated my feelings. For I don't us, like so. him. Also, yeah. You want to try? To, you want to pair him up with someone else? I want him to. I want her to. I'm uh, not him. I want her to go gay. Mm, I want her to end up with Randy. He's kind of good. Cool. Okay. So either way, no rust, right? No rust. <laughs> oh shit! What did you do? Apparently, if you roll up and down, shit happens. You can rewind and fast forward. Well, I didn't know. I suppose. So it's con. It's just convenient right now. I think you kind of heard that. Nah. Okay. I don't think it, it, it really helped Daddy's feelings because he's like, I said you guys are out of the other. Nah, we don't really like him. I don't want to lie about it. Just go. Yeah. It's just convenient right now. Yeah. It's just convenient. I mean, I don't really. As soon as the words left my fault, uh, mouth, I felt sick inside. Hey, it's okay. I understand that. No judgment here. Oh. They're called boy toys for a reason, right? You can let them down easy eventually. He'll live. Huh. No, that wasn't you. right. I wasn't playing him. I didn't want to do that. I just knew how I felt and there was no point in denying it anymore. I'm sorry, Russell. Maybe things would be different if I felt like I really knew you, or knew myself. Man, I must really not be ready for a relationship right now. I barely even remembered how I got into this one to begin with. So, you were just curious because he brought the two of us together? Yeah, because I kind of like you. Danny. <laughs> Danny only shrugged. Wait a minute. Danny, you didn't... Huh? You didn't invite Jay along on this trip to try and set me up with him instead, did you? Yes! You are really that dumb full about me and Russ. 
No, no, I just wanted to meet some new friends, no fake. Maybe Danny likes Don. Like, before we bounce out of here, I told him we should try and make friends with Ray, pick up conversation. Where am I innocent on this one? No conspiracy weirdness here for sure. Okay, I believe you. I don't believe her in her pink hair. No, I like the pink hair. Mm. Well, I did and I didn't. Danny was telling the truth, but she was also hiding something. Something related to the whole thing with me and Russell. She was doing a terrible job of hiding it, so it must be something serious. Maybe actually Danny and the one is going on it. Maybe. Maybe get together. So, are you thinking of hooking up with G then? Oh, no way. Putting boy stuff on hold for a good long while. That's because she's the last to be there. My she god. Likes she be done. No. Ah. Keep it up. Okay. Huh? How come? You know we keep switching around keyboard and, and mouse is ridiculous. <laughs> Cause you get tired. Yeah, it's like... Ugh. Come on, a rich bitch like me? I mostly get you a trash smoothing on me on dad at daddy's parties. You are trash and... What? What's that? W-A-S-P's. Yeah. Just dying to impress me with their boring humble brag bullshit. It's enough to make any girl swear off B for years. The worst. Oh yeah, she likes girls. I don't need that in my life. I told you she's a lesbian and I like it. Oh. I approve. I know what do you need then. So what do you want then? Wait, what do you want instead? I don't know, what do you want? So, what do you want instead? You? Daniel shot me a mischievous look, running her thumb over her bright pink knee. Is that a serious question? <laughs> I mean, all I want right now is to find Coco and to make some sense into him. Back on. Okay. But long term? I don't... I mean, I've been wanting... To, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, but... Maybe you don't want to hear. That's a very killing lesbian. I do! Really? Pretty please tell me? She's so cute. Yeah, okay. Well, what's the one big thing everybody... Um... Both? Oh, whoops, no, I'd love to decide for a sec. What's the other thing everybody wants? Money. Money. Um, money? No. Daniel um. Giggle. Hmm. Power Girl. O W R. <laughs> kinda makes it sound like a super villain. That's all I meant. Yeah. Oh my god. Daddy always telling me everybody just wants the biggest piece of the pie. But I'm not interested in taking any of this pie, so I guess I'd just rather be in charge of the bakery. Speaking of bakery... I can have all the pie I want, whenever I want, and give as much of it away as I, to the people that I choose. Sorry, I'm tripping out my own dreams here. But the point is, well... I mean, like, after he dies, if I have to, I mean ASAP. Cute that. Take a look at me. He's trained plenty of... Branch managers gone through a couple of CFOs. I've seen people come and go in the company and thought I'm a billion times more competent than that lo hoser. So why not me, right? Why shouldn't I start working with him now so I can slide right into the CEO chair for a few years while it's nice and warm? Yeah, that reminds me. I packed some dolces if you want them. I've got the serious tumbly rumbies right now. I like. As soon as I saw the label on the little purple package Danny pulled out of her bag, another big grey wall in my memory came crumbling down. Devoro Dolce, a logo on Danny's moat. Devoro it in little sequins on her swimsuit. The lavish panties at her house that made me feel two inches high next to chocolate fountains and edible statues. That's right, Devoro Dolce was Danny's family's business. No creation wonder. that shipped gourmet sweets and confections. <laughs> To specialty stores <laughs> and cafes around the world. I, I want cake now. Danny waved the wrapped bonbons in my direction. You want? I want. Like a candy? Of course. Thank you, yummy. Excuse me. The little chocolate began melting my mouth as soon as it hit my tongue. Revealing two then four layers of rich gooey flavor. Mm. Ah, I feel like I was committing a crime. No, a sin. This was a sin. Sweet, sweet sin. <laughs> I held up my hand and accidentally let out a noise somewhere between a whimper and a moan. Make it! Haha, <laughs> it's cool, you can have as many as you want. No wonder her family was rich, who doesn't love candy? I like chocolates. No, I was thinking about Danny's piles of candy money and other memories stuck into my head. Something about Danielle offering to pay for the whole spring break trip. Her bubbly voice talking about Valentine's 5 star experience all the way there and back again. 
There's someone else in a much deeper voice arguing that we pitch in equally and it's part of the road trip experience and no thank you. Damn it, Russell. Can you suck the tips of her fingers while we can eat back up? Back, back up for later. So I brought all this on on the dochi, the deborah dochi stuff. I mean, oh my god, the lag. Danny shook her head. Sorry. Oh, not many this conversation. Thought I was talking to myself. Okay, so I just like I just sit here and like make sound effects. You <laughs> poor person. I, I switch on my flashlight. I told Dad about it. He doesn't want me to. He doesn't want you to do what? Be CEO one day? No, he doesn't want me to be involved at all. Not right now, anyway. Yeah, usually, what are usually parents would be like? No idea. You said I should wait a few years until I graduate. Then he wants to send me to graduate school for a master's. Then we'll see what your world is like then and some lame shit like that. In the meantime, he's been setting me up with every douche in a year. Exactly what he's doing. Just shoving boys in my face. Is that how I- Ugh, that is totally how I met Russell. <laughs> so sad. Not that he's a douche. You know, you get know what I mean. Daddy seriously thinks jocks like Russell are my type. Get real. I thought he'd be happy for me, but I don't get it. Maybe he's looking for something different to bring to the company and he thinks I'd Like I said, I've just been thinking about it a lot lately. Sorry if that's kind of bitchy or anything. Nah, you Danny. can't make a bitchy. Like you have rice to Well, screw him. You know you can do it. Yeah, yeah, I know you can do it. Yeah. yeah. No offense, but your dad can go screw himself. That, that <gasps> is offense. Go that. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't mean it like that. Sorry. I know that's harsh. It just, it really makes me angry hearing you put yourself down like that. You should feel free to be whoever you want to be, Danny. I mean, you're so awesome. If you bring your best to Devoru, don't you? You can prove your dad wrong and make him proud all at the same time. I mean, at least you know what you want out of life. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Blech. Yeah, you're damn right there, girlfriend. Let's be Yay. Danny stopped and ripped the bun bun back and back out of her bed, popping three little chocolates into her mouth at once. Yeah. Oh my god, I know what I want, and yeah, I want buddy. it now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Blah, Bad. boys. First thing, Dad, then it's Colin, now Randy, and I'm sure Russell too, whenever we catch him. Um. Boys like. Boys are like the Alpha and Omega of my life's bullshit sphere. Who needs the fuckers? True, I agree though. Yeah. Hmm. Boys, eh? Fuck. Randy, hi! You're talking to yourself even more now. <laughs> That's amazing! No! I don't wanna talk. Can I stop talking to myself? Uh, uh, maybe I take over some of the characters. Uh, I think Jay's with them, right? I should uh, be. And you too, John. So what's the whiz bang hi hi it is? Oh my god, the lag is scary. I'm so sorry. I hope Ready it's okay. It should be okay. Ready tried out behind us and slung an arm over Daniel's shoulder. She I... squirmed a little but didn't bother trying to shove him off. Ah, yes, it's Jay. I can't stop talking, talking to myself. But he's the quiet person. Shit. Uh, yeah. I love your Dante poster. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my Dante is handsome with his abs. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Focus. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I could see Jay a couple yards behind carrying a few bags. Maybe it took them longer for her to catch her because he was carrying all the luggage himself. Do you want me to like read the narrative for you for the moment? No, no, it's, it's your narrative anyway, okay. Boys, boys, boys. See, I thought it was a girl's sticky fingers that got us all razzle frazzle back in the van earlier. Because what does a big dumb waster like me know? <laughs> he drank booze. <laughs> what the shit? Oh, he overheard. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you heard that. Yeah, you get really loud when you're angry. Yeah. It was weird. The words Randy was saying made it seem like he was upset, but his tone wasn't hurt at all. He wasn't passive aggressive or accusatory, just happy? Because he's gay! Because he's happy. Happy. Okay. Happy. It was just like he was laughing at Danny and himself. I didn't really know what to think of it. I'm sorry, you're not a dumb, big dumb wasteoid. My characters are all out of commission. <laughs> you were so... <laughs> they all ran away and banged the edge of the forest. Apology accepted, girlfriend. <laughs> Apology accepted, girlfriend. And it's okay, I never said you were wrong. Anyway. Are they engaged? No. No. I partaked of some... Wait, partook? Partook? <laughs> partook. He's, he's drunk. <laughs> Well, I smoked up a little before. God damn it. <laughs> He's God high. damn it. 
Well, I smoked up a little before we came after you, so you can get me in a bad mood right now, even if you tried. <laughs> That's he, the he's high. Reason. Yeah, he's high. high. <laughs> yes, I. Oh. Uh, that's what ready stuff was. Oh my god, you're slow. Yeah. Well, now I just felt stupid. Now you know. You dumb bitch. So dumb. Hey, J-Man! You sure you don't want me to think about the stack? <laughs> this face is so I got high. two working arms, you know. <laughs> no. No. I'm sure it's alright. We just enjoy ourselves. She speaks. Yeah. Randy, with his, ar- with his arms still around Danny's shoulder, leaned over in my direction and whispered almost as loud as he normally spoke. He thinks I'm way more out of it than I really am. It's hilarious. Poor guys never even smoke weed. Shut the fuck up, Randy. I'm not trendy. <laughs> Wait, you haven't either, right? I haven't either. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna dig my stash back out later tonight, so maybe you should take a hit and see how it hits you. This is the best fix for a crap sack day like this. Takes the edge off right off. It takes the edge right off. Ugh. What should I have for dinner? Oh my Danny god. Danny finally pushed Randy off his shoulder, sending him stumbling sideways over down the hill a few feet. Quit trying to corrupt my BFF, okay? Seriously, I'll knock you the fuck out right out of my pumps and leave you behind for bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think we both are like. <laughs> Randy giggled and raised his arms over his head with a snarl. Oh, I'm a scary bird. If you don't find Coco and Russ soon, I swear to God. He has nice he hands. Can. Oh, he does. What the hell? Hmm, maybe we should try and change the subject. Change the what? Uh, okay, okay, I get the picture. I'll turn it down a couple notches. For real, I'm not that high. Hey, Jake, what was it you were asking me back at the van? I forgot what it was. I just remember, like, not answering it. I say it for you, Jake. Oh, uh, there's nothing important. I, I just asked if there was a story behind the title. It's very interesting. Did you make that when you were drunk? And then you're like, hey, mm. let's go to the tattoo shop. And Wait. you're dashing this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> when his eyes widened, he left over to Jay's side and grabbed him by the shoulders as if Jay had seen something shocking. Are you gonna kiss me? I have a tattoo! What? Jay's body stiffened straight up like he'd been jabbed with a hot poker. You hit my feelings, There was a very Randy. short awkward pause before Randy broke, in, broke it with a burst of laughter. Just go with you, dude. Just a joke. Randy, your jokes are not sure, funny you didn't want those bags, though. You don't know how to carry all that, man. Shut up. I'm taking all these bags. I'm ready as hell. Jay passed Randy the largest of the three bags he was carrying and then jerked would. away from his grasp. His movements were so sharp and rigid, it looked like he was going to snap right in two. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Not a hugger. No, I said that. I'm not gay. N- no. <laughs> no. 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 Randy, I'm so dead. Are you okay? You sound so dead. I'm, uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to make you sound super tired. Jay's jacket, which already seemed too big for him, had slipped off his shoulder post <laughs> Randy hug. So it's starting to take an effect oh, on me. I suddenly feel like sleeping already. <laughs> what did you know? Yeah. He pushes up his glasses off again and nose with a shaky hand and then tried to straighten his jacket but dropped one of his bags in the process. He uh, shuffled off to grab it before it can roll away back down the hill. Uh, Yikes, definitely time to change the subject. That was so awkward. But I want to know the story. Oh, yeah. So what is the story behind your tattoo, Randy? You're still talking yourself, Nina. <laughs> I hope it's a good story. You know, it's a real bonehead move to get a full sleeve like that if you ever want to get hired somewhere, right? Nice. Wait, you wouldn't hire a cool dude like me? Nah. <laughs> get real. That tattoo's just one of the many reasons I have to toss your application in the trash. Well, trust by you. Fair yeah, enough. So where would you put a tattoo if you were going to get one? I wouldn't get a tattoo ever. My body is a palace. You just drop your earphones, but you can only hear the birds chirping either way. Don't you mean my body is a temple? No, a temple is too small. I know what I said. Eat. What about you, Don? Oh, I don't know. I guess whatever spot would hurt the least to get tattooed. 
We fish, don't we? Let's stop my hair and look a fair. Well, what will you get a tattoo off then? Maybe the tights. Hmm. Like, there's a lot of fats on the tights. Something meaningful. Or something beautiful. Meaningful. Beautiful. Meaningful. I'd rather something meaningful. Meaningful. Yeah. But not your boyfriend's so name or anything because that would no, be that one, that one is stupid. Like, I like fox. I will, I will have a fox. Something meaningful, I guess. If I'm putting something permanent on my skin, I want it to be something that's important to me. Like, I like a... I mean, if I had to get a tattoo, I don't like needles. Ah. Had to get one? <laughs> so, like, if you lost a bet, maybe. Did he? Mm. Maybe he did. And then he was drunk. So, he's like... That's not funny, Randy. Yeah. He's lagging in it. Sorry, sorry, I know it's not funny, but Dawn's a smart cookie. She'll beat your little brother at his dumb game, no problem. You just gotta have faith. Aw, oh, it's just a good friend. Are you avoiding the original question? Jay asked what the story behind your tattoo was. It was a bet. It was a bet. Why are you so embedded? Tell the story already. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna take hours in the forest. And you say. I turned to look at Jay trailing just a few feet behind us. He could definitely hear our conversation, but I guess he's not. He lost interest in joining it. There goes my chance to speak at all. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You've got time, so you might as well spill. Still no sign of Coco. Rest ahead. God, why? It's, it's like, how, how long were we playing this? And then we are still like, we're not at the haunted mansion yet. True, true. Too. I'm so done. <laughs> the story does have to do. It's a good story though. The script's nice. It's actually yeah. It's quite interesting. I, I quite like the characters. But it's really like, long. It's really long. Yeah, it's, it's long. Well, the story does have to do with Russell. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should ask him if I can tell you guys first. It's kind of personal. <gasps> you guys have the man to man. Oh, so cute. I should put. Yeah. I really shouldn't tell the story while I'm high. <laughs> uh, this is so. Ask if you sound totally sober right now. Not if you smoke just one, I'd highly dump his hide. Mm, true. Well, thanks, I'm doing my best. It's no fun trying to force your buzz down, trust me. But I know it's no fun listening to a pothead ramble either. So, you got a tattoo for Russell? I didn't realize you and Russell were that close. I mean, I knew you were friends, but... <laughs> we are... Sorry. What? He never talks about me? I'm crushed! <gasps> I'm his ex! <laughs> oh, yeah, he talks about you all the time. I just really don't remember it. <laughs> I didn't get the tattoo for Russell exactly. It's just... A bet? It's always a bet. <gasps> oh, finally! It's okay, Randy. You don't have to talk about it. This is only my curiosity of a part. I didn't mean to trouble you over here. Yeah. Is this the end of my, my sentence? I guess it is. <laughs> sure, dude, but yeah, me and Russell are tight. Our friendship means a lot to me. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Hell, why do you think I voted the way I did back at the van? I didn't want to drag my fat ass up a hill for oh, two miles, but you know, it was important to him. Mm. Jeez, just get it on together. Uh, Wait, you wanted to stay with the van? Yeah, of course, you just went out and came back. We went to walk again, right? Absolutely, but I could tell Russ was itching to try and make our situation better, and I could have bug him forever, and it would bug him forever if I couldn't at least chase this rabbit that Colin came up with. There's yeah, probably nothing is. up there, and we're just busting our buns for him. It's nothing, ha! Ah. Oh my god, asshole. Oh my god, Jay's angry. Jay, Jay's, Jay's angry. Jay's <laughs> piece of shit. I want you, I want you guys in the car. Because he's <laughs> He says nothing! Sorry, I can throw my vote in with you, Jay. I know you really didn't want to go on this hike, and it's cool if you're still mad, I understand. I'll do what I can to make it up to you. With what? Oh, oh, oh my eyes! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you yeah, stop it! Hey. I mean, I would just offer you some of my weed, but you didn't seem real big on the idea back in the van. <laughs> mm. Jay seemed surprised that Randy had noticed his frustration. To be honest, I was surprised too. I don't think Randy was even looking at Jay when he said that. Maybe he just knew. He has the big brother intuition. Yes. He's just a he's big just brother sense like. of trouble. Ah, oh, he's alright. I, I wasn't exactly voting for my sake either. 
she has my voice, so I'm not sure how Randy heard it, but okay, I'm confident we're voicing Jay now. <laughs> Suck. He was definitely looking at me when he said that. Yeah, he's like, I think we know. I think we know Dom like like so worry about mm-hmm. her. Because she had like mm-hmm. really colorful mm-hmm. nightmare. I just let Russell decide on this one because, well, you know. Yeah. It's my own damn fault the van broke down. I didn't get it tuned up before we left for this trip like I said I would, so I don't really have the right to tell anybody what to do. Oh, he's actually pretty considerate, like... I like this, that's why I like him. Yeah. I just think like hey, him Hey, shit well. happens. Being yourself over it ain't gonna solve anything. Yeah. Nah, I'm not beating myself up. Just putting my main man first, is all. When it comes to small jobs like this, that's more important than whatever dumb thing I think is best. It's lagging. Oh no, it's not. It's just I didn't press anything. Maybe that's dumb too? Well, it's just how I feel. Sitting up already. I know you wanna agree. I don't know. Um, agree with him, I guess. Really? No, you're right, Randy. And I think you're a really great friend. You are. Oh no, it's hitting out. I'm very worried right now. I think so too. Give yourself a little credit. Oh, it's just go on. Sis, 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 sis. Sis. Ah. I already read this. Ah. I already read this. No, really. Go on. What else is great about me? Don't hold back now. <laughs> you ass one. Oh, he's just an ass. My god. It's lagging. Can you not? Wow. Hey, do you guys hear that? Listen. Wait, listen, I'm listening. Che, nothing. I froze in my tracks. It was speed, but I could hear something. It it sounded like uh <laughs> 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 the ugliest laugh ever. <laughs> 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 you want to be nah, too loud about it? Nah, he's having a cow about something out there. Oh my god! Is she like heavy sashishi with Colin? Oh my. Oh, it's just a kid, please. <laughs> well, it's good news for us because it means we found the guys. I mean, if Russ is laughing, you could at least found Coco already. <gasps> they got long to find. You must have at least found Coco already. Coco, Coco. Hey, I might laugh that hard, but I didn't find him, but... Oh my god. How could they get along so well? Are they having some... Okay, that's my little brother you're talking about. Not fucking funny. Sorry, I really... It was really just a joke. You know, I never want anything bad to happen to a kid. Just, you know. I think he's 14 years old, isn't he? Around that um, age. Um, I don't know. Thank no. you very much. I don't think so, but then he's. Randy shrugged. I just think so. Maybe he's older. Something's really gotta be done about that dude. Kids like him worry me, that's all. Come off it. You're only like 5 years older than Coco. It's okay. Your brain's trying to math. You cannot math. Yeah, I can't. True. <laughs> I never mentioned how. Oh, okay, never mind. I think I didn't read. Before. They should be up over this last hill. Come on, I'll raise you guys. Oh God! But she's I started to the chase Daniel up the hill, but well, while these questions were still on my mind, and I could talk to the guys alone. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> Randy. Randy or Jay, Randy, Randy or Jay. Jay. Well, I want Randy, you want Jay. Should we rock paper scissors? Yeah. Why was he worried about Colin? Are they gonna. Rock paper scissors. Okay, Kiku. Pa! No! <laughs> yeah, another round? Yes, let's start with Kiku. Pa! Kiku. Pa! <laughs> that's the last round. Yeah, that's two out of three, you win. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Twice I did rock, and she did paper. <laughs> Hey. Um, Jay? Why? Oh, at least I get to talk to you. Yeah. Hmm. True. <laughs> when you said you cast your vote for someone else's sake back at the van. It was for you, obviously, you idiot. Um, who are you talking about, if you don't mind me asking? Did you notice me staring at you whenever I talk about this? Hi. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm afraid I do mind. Even though my constant staring at you is so obvious, she's so tired voicing this girl. Huh? <laughs> but why? 
。ああ、全然せや。ああ、一緒に言うのパーで。あしらはしっぽけないんです。ああ、ファンファニー ?I think you should speak up a lot, Mara! シャラファーカー、you should, you're not telling me what to do. But you should! You're like so quiet! <sighs> Why is that? Well, we're taking this trip together, but I feel like I don't know anything about you. It's because I'm trying to be mysterious. It's like, you don't want to be part of the group at all. I know. And then every once in a while you do something or say something that's just really... Really weird. See, you're quiet. I don't know how to talk to you at all. I, I, I don't understand why you're so intent on talking to me. Because it's true that you're popular. That's like husband. Like sexual harassment? You are a man. If you don't mind me saying so, I, I don't think he cares for me at all. I like him. So I have no desire to stress the relationship any further. Oh, he likes her. Uh, I'm sure Russell would like you just fine if you were more honest with him. Or if you were more honest with me, or Daniel, or everyone is fine. It doesn't really matter how Russell feels about me. Oh, I came on this trip because Daniel is just a very spider. So you hate being with us that much? Yeah. No, I, I don't hate it. Good. I was kind of interested in maybe being your friend. That's all. I get a romantic ending. You okay? It was kind of a lie, mostly. I just wanted to know what Jay was hiding from me. And if it had anything to do with my weird nightmares. Oh my gosh, she's not being genuine. But I guess I wouldn't mind being his friend either. Hey. I have. Herpes? <laughs> Sorry. I could practically hear him arranging every word he wanted to say in his head, syllable by syllable. I have a difficulty being around people in general. Speaking people I don't know can be uncomfortable. Speaking you in particular makes me even more uncomfortable. He likes her. Ah, he ah. likes her. Oh, <laughs> even admitting this a lot makes me uncomfortable. I, I can't even. And now. I can't just talk about how I feel like Randy and Daniel can. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm kind of like that with strangers actually. Like, with, yeah, I know. I can't get it. Yeah. yeah it's like, I don't want to talk about myself. <laughs> Why would okay, I? but what if it's not about feelings? It seems like you're keeping a lot of secrets from us. Maybe we'd all feel better if we just understood that stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, there's a whole dimension out there, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not even if you were friends? Not even if we became good friends? Unless if you're lovers. Maybe not even then. No. <laughs> it's so funny to watch you. Windows. Don't you have. Oh, yeah, no, thank you. Don't you have some secrets you can never tell anybody? No matter who you are. I. And it'll all be.